using the calc menu on the TI-84 Plus graphing calculator. This video lesson refers to the TI-83 and TI-84 series of graphing calculators. Pictured here is the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition graphing calculator. I strongly invite the viewer to follow along with your calculator to get as much as possible from this video lesson on using the calc menu. We can access the calc menu by pressing the second key then the trace key that accesses the calc function above the key. And here's the calc menu, seven options total. Access the function editor by pressing the y equals key. Now we enter the function y equals negative x squared plus x plus 12. Press graph. Now we're going to go to the calc menu. Press second, then press trace that accesses the calc menu. Here is the calc menu. Option number one is value. After pressing enter to access the value option, this is what we see. We see x equals in the lower left of the view screen. We enter the number three. Press enter. We can see the coordinate marked on the graph of the function and the x value of three and the y value of six circled below at the bottom of the view screen. Here's the calc menu again that we get by pressing second then trace. Scroll down to option 2, 0. Press enter. Left bound is being asked. Arrow to the left past the other side of the y-axis. Here the cursor is almost to the x-axis on the other side. Now after continuing to arrow to the left, the cursor is below the x-axis. Press enter. Now the calculator asks, right bound? Arrow to the right to move the cursor to the right and above the x-axis. Here's the cursor circled. The cursor is now at the right of the x-intercept, or zero. Press enter. Note the two inward facing arrows. Press enter again. The cursor is on the x-intercept that is identified as x equals negative three. Now we'll look at another option in the calc menu. Press second. Press trace which gets you to the calc menu. We'll explore option four, maximum. But first, press graph. We want to find the maximum of this function that occurs somewhere above our current view screen. Press the window key. Our Y maximum is set at 10. Now let's change the Y maximum to 15 to be able to see the top of that parabola or function. Press graph. We can now see the maximum of the function, the top of the parabola. Now we'll go to find that maximum value. Press second, press trace, scroll down to option four, maximum. Press enter. The calculator is asking us to set the left bound. Since we are already to the left of the maximum, we can press enter here. Now we're being asked to set the right bound. Arrow to the right, to the right side of the maximum. We can see here the cursor clearly at the right of the maximum press enter. We see the inward arrows again facing each other. Press enter. The maximum is identified at 12.25. Now we'll look at another feature of the calc menu. Press second. Press trace to get to the calc menu. We'll look at option number five, intersect. First we'll go to the function editor by pressing the Y equals key. We'll enter a second function, y equals zero. Go over to the left of the equal sign and, and push enter once to get a thicker line for the function. Press graph. We see a horizontal line along the x-axis. Press second. Press trace to get to the calc menu. Scroll down to option five, intersect. Press enter. Press enter again. Press enter again. And after guess, press enter one last time and we get an intersection at the point negative three comma zero. Press the Y equals key to get to the function editor. Press the clear key to clear out the function out of Y2. Now we'll look at yet another option in the calc menu. Press second. Press trace to get to the calc menu. Here are the two calculus options, numbers six and seven, just to the left of the Isaac Newton one of the inventors of calculus. Scroll down to option six, dy dx. We see the cursor at the point three comma six. 
The dy dx option gives the slope our derivative at a point on the graph of the function. Press enter. dy dx or the derivative of x at x equals 3 is negative 5. So the slope at the point 3 comma 6 on this graph is negative 5. This operation is your calculator performing differential calculus. Now we'll do one more thing with the calc menu. Press second, press trace. Scroll down to option 7, integral, press enter. The calculator is asking for the lower limit. Arrow over to the left, go all the way to negative 3 where the x-intercept is located. Here the x-intercept and lower limit is circled. Press enter. The calculator is now asking for the upper limit. Arrow over to the right, arrow all the way to the other x-intercept, x equals 4. The cursor is right on top of the x-intercept of 4. Press enter. This darkened area that we see above the x-axis is the area between the curve of the function and the x-axis, which is 57.166667 square units. This is really 57 and 1 sixth units. This operation is integral calculus. As you've seen, the calc menu can do quite a lot, and we didn't even go over the option 3, which is akin to finding a maximum, like we did for option 4, but option 3 is finding a minimum of a function. There are follow-up video lessons regarding operations accessed by these function keys at the top of the keypad. There's the stat plot menu, the windows function, the table set operation, and the zoom menu. You may specifically access any of these lessons on these features by clicking on the associated button in the bottom half of this image. This has been using the calc menu on the TI-84 Plus graphing calculator. Thanks for viewing.